All right, everybody, what's up? This is uh, our first. We got a strong feeder band. I was dodging palm tree palm prom thingies. Uh, it was coming in quick, man. Look, all you got to do is look at the radar right now, and you will see um, Idalia developing a uh, clear eye on radar. Everything, everything that was predicted, this thing is going to turn into a major hurricane today. So we're heading into it. I got uh, Phil with me. Phil, were you live? Yep, we're live. Uh, we're live. Phil's here. Everybody's always worried if I, uh, I got Howard the Duck. I just posted a uh, picture of him. Um, welcome. We're on uh, X, Facebook, and YouTube. So I think we're ready. Uh, Swarm Chasers, you know, rebuilt from Ian. Um, and uh, we're heading north. I don't know where we're going, but... Started seeing pictures earlier. Oh my goodness! A friend of mine just posted the Hooters there in Fort Ritchie. Water everywhere already. Uh, high tide was a couple hours ago. Uh, Bayshore, you know, Boulevard. This all this is all tidal, tidal tides. This has nothing to do with our storm. As a matter of fact, the rotation of our storm right now. If you look at the radar, we're starting to get the um, counterclockwise flow away from the Bay Area. So we're not going to see any surge until that storm gets right uh, parallel to us and to the north here. When I say us, Tampa Bay, um, and that would be later overnight tonight. So uh, the tide right now isn't expected to be too bad. So what we're seeing now is amazing because we're actually getting the winds now starting to rotate around the top of the state uh, east to west. Um, but again, you know, they raised the predictions to, I think, 125 now, and uh, that's a major hurricane. The uh, area, I just shared a photo from the National Weather Service. That area in the Big Bend has never had a major hurricane like this, not once in history. Uh, and that's a big area up there they're worried about. The, the, the bowl effect of the surge, you know, they raised the surge to 10 to 15 foot. And that is right around the range of the surge that Ian had, to put things in perspective. I mean, we know Ian was bad. Everybody saw those videos from down at Fort Myers and Fort Myers Beach, um, how bad that surge was. That was 10 to 15 foot. So there are towns down there. There's a lot of little towns. There's uh, Cedar Key. There's, um, you know, Steen Hatchie. A lot of people in our chat, we, we might go there for a little bit. Uh, Perry. And then, of course, I got, you know, we got Apalachicola, right? Um, Apalachicola is actually a sponsor of ours, and they're unfortunately kind of in the cone there. Uh so the effects here in uh, Tampa Bay and the uh, West Coast, the same. You know, the track is getting tighter and tighter and tighter. We're going to have a new track at 5 o'clock Eastern. you got to trust spaghetti models at this point. And uh, the edge of the cone, you know, uh, is, is, is we all talked about Charlie and Irma and Ian. They were on the eastern side of the cone. The cone is getting tighter now. However, I cannot stress enough, you know, this storm is big. If you look at satellite, it is becoming a classical major hurricane in just a, a matter of a few hours. It's sitting on top of those warm um, loop currents. If we talk about that, Gulf water is hot, and, and it totally, from yesterday to today, totally different. Everything that was predicted is coming true, that this thing found a pocket of light wind shear, and holy moly, uh, we're seeing a major hurricane develop fast. It's supposed to be uh, sitting off the coast of Tampa Bay this uh, about 2 o'clock in the morning as a major hurricane. Landfall sometime around, what, 6, 7, 8 in the morning up that neck of the woods. So remember, the effects are going to get to you way before landfall. So things are going to go be going downhill fast tonight. Um, and, uh, yeah, so Phil's navigating with me. I got the uh, testing the storm chaser out here. We got uh, live uh, Tempest weather station data on the back of the truck at 79 degrees. Pressure is 1,008. So I have a real storm um, uh, weather station on the back of the truck. Hopefully it stays on the back of the truck. And uh, we got live radar there. As a matter of fact, I need to move it around a little bit. Um, look at that eye right there. So we got live radar, and I'll be able to pinpoint where I'm at a little bit on that uh, radar, radar scope. We got Starlink in the back. I'm not expecting Starlink to uh, you know, be working in the middle of a hurricane, but we have a lot of uh, ways to communicate if we need to. Um, so there you go. I'm going to be on Drew Garabo live here in a second. The Bone, I'm going to pull off the road so we can make a phone call in about 10 minutes. So if you're local, The Bone, 1025, you want to tune in, John uh, Sinning and Drew Garabo, I'll be live. Um, again, you know, we I lead people up to this, and we're in the, we're in, uh, the hands of the National Hurricane Center and your local National Weather Service now. There's no, no data they're going to tell you that I'm going to be able to 
say any better. So at this point, that's why Storm Chasing I'm fine with. We're going. I have a lot of sponsors, um, corporate sponsors, state support, FEMA support, uh, national level. I meet a lot of these people on these storm chasing trips and we collab and get our boots on the ground. And, uh, you know, I feel like I'm making a difference leading up and storm chasing. So I know it's not for everybody and I understand that. Um, but it is what it is. Um, the, uh, I don't know when we're going to be streaming, but I want everybody to share this. Uh, my goal is to, um, you know, this is something I want to continue. This will be my, uh, ninth storm in the truck. Our truck's been through nine name storms this truck that i'm in right now has been in three major hurricanes we were in ida uh zeta right zeta major or delta no delta we rented a car zeta zeta and um of course last uh last year ian so that's that man so we're just testing i got stickers on the side of the truck that say uh our weather page uh so if you see me honk <laughs> um and uh, we'll, we don't know what to expect. So make sure your notifications are turned on. Definitely on YouTube. I think there's a bell you can hit. So when we go live, you'll get a ding. Um, not sure how X does it or um, Facebook's hit or miss. Uh, we do have a lot of people on TikTok. I shared a picture to let people know on TikTok. So welcome. Uh, and we'll see what this thing has got. You know, at this time, we're going to wait for every update. The National Hurricane Center is doing a new advisory in two hours. Don't see any major changes other than this thing is becoming a, a major hurricane. They raised the surge level down to 10 to 15 foot, and um, that's pretty serious. So we'll uh, we'll see it. We'll, we're we're going to stream, man. We might get a couple hours of sleep tonight, but that's it. So first thing, you know, in the morning for sure, uh, 5 in the morning, you know, make sure you flip it on here, and uh, we'll be chasing this thing live somewhere. And uh, we'll watch the sun come up and see what the heck's going on. And we're probably going to chase this towards uh, Interstate 10 and the Georgia, uh, Georgia Florida line as it's still uh, expected to be a hurricane uh, into the state of Georgia. And, and it's, you know, I've said it a bunch and it's, it's 100% coming, you know, in reality that a, a deepening hurricane at landfall is the worst because they don't just turn around and start weakening right away. Uh, they'll spread those hurricane conditions a little deeper in, in inland, that area up there is pretty marshy, uh, flat. So we're going to see strong hurricane force winds, um, way deep into the state before it starts weakening. We're going to see hurricane conditions on the other coast into Georgia. And, uh, as we mentioned, you know, talking with Kevin, serious concerns for the state of Florida with this storm, number one was storm surge. Obviously now it's even more. So hundred percent storm surge is number one, uh, worry with the state number two are with this storm than ian they've uh gathered uh because those trees up there uh oak trees pine trees all the swamps uh that they first off th that those areas have never experienced a hurricane so you know areas that have a lot of storms the weakest don't survive and uh there's gonna be a lot of trees down they they're worried about that uh interstate 10 75 who the heck knows that those roads might get shut down uh, you get trees on the road, uh, you just don't know, you know, so Interstate 1075, I put a link on my website uh, to Florida traffic, uh, it's right on the very, very top, remember that second column on the left is everything, uh, I, uh, Hurricane Idalia, um, you can get access to current road information there, and um, keep up with that, so I guess I better save my voice, um, so hey, listen, we'll be on the bone, it also sounds like we're going to be uh, on the uh, uh, with Aaron Burnett tonight uh, doing a little update on CNN 740. So, uh, you know, anybody that asks us to do coverage, I'm doing it. I don't care who you are, <laughs> especially you get TV time. So um, we're excited about getting a little extra press for Mike's Twitter page, right? We're all in it together. So I don't right, think everybody we will uh, we'll be doing some updates on the road. My plan is to stop every 30, 40 minutes, do an update. Uh, I'm not going to leave everybody hanging on what's going on with the storms. That's one thing I learned. I got to make sure to do. So my plan is to leave early like I'm doing. That way I have time to stop. And uh, if there's anything that needs to be, you know, reported on. But right now things are kind of going as planned. Just looking at the radar, we got tornado warnings everywhere down south. Um, they're popping up. We knew that was going to happen. We saw it this morning. These bands are very intense in southwest Florida right now. Uh, and they're going to start pulling up around Miami area later, daytime heating, and they're going to stretch through Orlando. The whole state's going to be encompassed with feeder bands very soon. So flip on your favorite radar app and look at this thing. This is not something that we see very often here 
um, in northern Florida like this. So, all right, we'll see you.